Thursday night at the Forum in Inglewood, the Utah Jazz took the Lakers to the wire when Michael Cooper hit a big jumper to kill their Game 5 hopes. John Stockton scored 23 points, a tied Magic's playoff assist record, while Carl Malone played another hard fought game, ending up with 27 points and 16 rebounds. Earl Bailey led the Jazz with 28 points, playing 44 minutes off the bench. The Jazz, who are down three games to two, throw their back door against the wall, and it's do or die tonight. The Los Angeles Lakers come into the Salt Palace hoping to wrap up the series, and they can do that with a win tonight. Irvin Magic Johnson is averaging more than 20 points in the playoffs, and he'll lead his team against the feisty Utah defense. James Worthy continues to hit the big shot as he totaled 27 Tuesday, and the reliable Byron Scott will again be dangerous from the perimeter. Up next, it's Game 6, the Jazz and the world champion Lakers. the South Palace, the scene of Game 6, the second round of the Western Conference playoffs, the world champion Los Angeles Lakers and the Utah Jazz, and the Lakers lead this series three games to two. They won Game 5 at Los Angeles, 111 to 109, and one of the greatest basketball games ever played in many a year. Hi again, everybody. I'm Rod Hundley, and we welcome you to our simulcast. The Lakers know they'll have their hands full tonight, and another sellout here at the South Palace, and they're going to be ripping and roaring, and the Jazz are ready to play this game and once again will be out early of trying to get after this ball club and utah with carl malone john stockton thurl bailey and mark keaton and bobby hansen those five guys probably and if they can would go the whole way that's quoting frank layton and with me dave blackwell and frank said will pull out all the stops he's going to go all the way unless fouls uh intervene and otherwise he's not even going to substitute he made that point in the radio portion of our broadcast well they weren't man, many substitutions the other night tuesday night we really saw some Iron Men performances. These are young guys. The adrenaline really has to be going. I mean, you and I, it's a little difficult. Well, I tell you that uh, the Lakers, uh, of course, when Kareem Abdul-Jabbar went out, I thought they played uh, perhaps even better with Michael Thompson in the lineup. He had 11 rebounds and 18 points. He shot extremely well, making seven out of nine shots, and he's hurt the Jazz throughout this playoffs, backing up Kareem. Well, we mentioned Tuesday night that we thought that Michael Thompson was the key man on the floor because he immediately came out started hitting the boards got a lot of offensive rebounds and he was the difference uh, even though Worthy and Cooper were the two players who hit the big shots but you know Ron whatever happens tonight and uh, the Jazz are a three-point underdog but I think they're ready to play but you know the die has been cast for next year I mean the Jazz have got so much uh, credibility and publicity the way they have played against Portland and Los Angeles this has been a great thing for the franchise as I mentioned after the loss uh, Tuesday night maybe it's an oxymoron but it was probably the most positive loss the Jazz have ever had in franchise history. And in that game, John Stockton had 23 points, 24 assists. He tied an NBA record for a playoff game with uh, the 24 assists, tying Magic Johnson's record against the Phoenix Suns a few years ago. And he also had five steals. They played 48 minutes, as did Bobby Hanson. And again, he is the key. He will not let the Jazz lose, to use that expression, very much like Magic Johnson. He will look at his ball club and say, come on, it isn't over. Let's hang in there. And he's done it and done it all year long. Well, the key also is Mark Eaton's going to have to stay out of foul trouble. Hugh Evans and uh, Hugh Hollins, two veteran officials. Let's we'll see how they call the game. We might know in the first five minutes. Mark Eaton, uh, of course, found out of game five. Uh, he's been uh, remarkable. The Lakers to a man have given the credit to him and to John Stockton. And when he goes out of the game, as he did in game five, you watch the Lakers drive to the basket. Magic penetrates. Worthy goes in. And uh, they get the easy basket inside. But when he's in the game, now they pull up and take those outside. Jump shots very similar to the Portland series. Well, I think a key, too, we're going to have to get some production offensively from Thurl Bailey. Thurl, of course, got in foul trouble in one of the two games. In the last game, he had 28 points, which led Utah over at... Uh, at the forum and he has been the most reliable as far as point production player I think all year long every night giving you that 15 to 20. Well it's been a long season but a great season most wins ever in franchise history we'll see what happens tonight. You know this will be uh, the 100th game of the year counting eight preseason games and we're going to keep it here and meet the uh, lineups on the introduction here at the South Palace. The lights are going to be going out so hang in there with us here for the introduction. 
and we'll bring him to you right here. The Los Angeles Lakers will be introduced first. They'll have the strobe lights going, and they'll be whooping it up here at the South Palace. This is game six. The Jazz and the world champion Los Angeles Lakers. If there's a game seven, it'll be Saturday afternoon in Los Angeles. And now we'll meet the Lakers. Here's James Worthy from North Carolina. 6'9 forward and a dandy. From Oregon State, A.C. Gray. At center, Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. The holder of all the scoring records in the NBA. In his 19th year. Here's Byron Scott from Arizona State. 6'4", sharp shooting guard. At 6'9", at the other guy, Magic Johnson from Michigan State. Pat Riley, the head coach, and assistant coach Bill Burke and Randy Fine, and the trainer Gary Beatty. And now we'll meet the Utah Jazz. Listen to this ovation. They are ready for basketball tonight. The starting lineup for Utah. Cheering here at the South Palace. Here's the mailman, Carl Malone. At the other forward, at six time, Marcus Avogodi. At center, Mark Eaton at seven foot four. And a guard for Gonzaga, John Stockton. And the other guard, 6'6", six, six from Iowa, Bobby Hanson. The head coach, Frank Layton, the assistant coach, Jerry Sloan, and Scott Layton. And a trainer, Don Magic Finger Sparks, and his assistant, Jerry Clark. So we'll be set for basketball here at the South Palace. Coming up, it'll be the Utah Jazz and uh, Los Angeles Lakers in game six. We'll have it for you, radio and TV, coming up right after this timeout. We're ready to go. Jazz basketball game six for the Lakers. By the referees, Hugh Hollins and Huey Evans. They'll work the game. Terry Durham, the alternate official. Got a sellout crowd, ready to whoop it up. And Kareem Abdul-Jabbar will step in with Mark Eaton to jump it. The Lakers lead the series three games to two. Dallas has eliminated Denver, four games to two. They won tonight, 108 to 95 at Dallas. And the winner of this series will play the Mavericks for the Western Conference Championship. Here we go. Uh, both players get a handle. They'll jump again. Ball didn't go up high enough. Eaton, of course, 7'4", and Jabbar at 7'2". This time they get it in the air, and Eaton tips it back to Stockton. The Jazz move front court right side. Stockton, right to left. Back down the left side, messed up with Byron Scott. Stockton with the yo-yo dribble. Hanson sets the screen. Malone trying to post. Stockton keeps the ball. Terminates. Lives low down to the baseline. Left to Carl Malone. The jump hook is flat. And a rebound off to A.C. Green. Now to Magic. Magic front court to the angle right. Slowed down by Hanson. Magic up top to A.C. Green. Around the horn left to go to Worthy. Down low to Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. All right, Eaton on his back with help from Amaroni. Back in the corner to Worthy. Bad by Amaroni. Shovel back to Jabari. Drops it. Picks it up on the baseline. A couple of bounces. Taken outside. Jumper. Make it too hard. Rebound Alvaroni to Stockton. Jazz on the run. Stock down the middle. Taylor played to Hanson left side. One pass dribble. Leap and lead. Sixteen footer in and out. Rebound to the mailman. Turn in. Put it up and miss it. And a rebound out of bounds. And it's late for the ball. The ball. The ball. The ball. Bobby Iron. The two shots. He was a little bit of traffic on that one, but uh, at least he uh, was crashing the offensive boards. That's, you know, you have to be pleased with that. All right, here's Magic down low, left to Kareem. Eaton again on his back. Kareem holds it high. Now he backs across the middle, and he travels. Yeah. Basketball. Yeah. You see Kareem travel three times, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah the other on night. Tuesday night. And he had five turnovers total in the game, most unusual for the big guy. Here's Stockton with a ball. John, front court left. We haven't scored yet. A minute and seven seconds have passed. Stock to the middle. Go to the hoop. Lay it up. Score it. Stock The Jazz on the board. Down quickly. Byron Scott right side. Scott backs it out in three-point country. Down on the baseline right to Magic. 
Got it by Hanson. Magic at 6'9, Hanson 6'6. Six, six. Magic still holding. All right, backs it out. Cross court over the left corner to Worthy. All alone for the jumper. He scores. Worthy. Wow, you wonder why they leave a player like that that open. Well, there seemed to be a little confusion on there. Marcus Ivoroni was pointing to Mark Eaton to help tramp a little bit. And he was giving signals, and all the time uh, Worthy got free in the uh, corner. Or it's out of two. It's Stockton with the ball, front court left. Stockton. Yo Yo ain't out on the left wing. Go hold it there. Looks inside. Low to Ivoroni with Byron Scott on him on a mismatch. Double pump. Bank it up wildly. Eaton tips it over. Ivoroni's got it again. Go to the hoop. Bank it up. Miss again. Unbelievable. Rebound to Kareem. Down court to Magic. Magic to the right side. Cross court open. Scott. Scott fake. Leap and lean. 15 footer up. No good. Rebound. Tipped up and in. No. Yes. AC Green. Nice follow up by Green. Yeah, he came streaking through. The Jazz have really missed some golden scoring opportunities here in the first two minutes. Stockton down the left side. 4 to 2 Lakers. Stockton up top. Looks in. Nobody there. Right side Hanson. Right corner to the mailman. Jumper. Wow. With the 18. That form goes. He's over three on bad shots. And a rebound to Kareem. Down court to Magic. Magic right side. Right corner to Byron Scott. Scott low to Magic. Doubled up with Hanson and Stockton. Magic holds on. Now back out to Scott for a three-pointer. He got it. Byron Scott. So the Lakers lead seven to two. Well, Byron Scott has had a marvelous series against the uh, Jazz. Matter of fact, he's had a great year. And Bob Wolf, his agent, was there negotiating for a new contract Tuesday night. Stockton with a ball. The Jazz digging a hole here. They're down five already. We played three minutes. Stockton left to right. Stockton to the free throw line. Right side, Ivoroni. Don't let him take it. The jumper. Good. Marcus Alvaroni, 7 to 4 Lakers. Right side Magic. He'll lob under. Picked off by Stockton. Jazz on the move. Stock down the right side. Stockton to the alley. Cross court and Hanson in the right corner. Bobby waits. Back to Alvaroni as the Lakers get back defensively. Low post to Malone. Across the alley. They had a four with the left hand. A mailman. A great move. And it's 7 to 6 Lakers. Scott low left side of Worthy. Back to Byron Scott on the left wing. Again to Worthy. Worthy squares away. Alvaroni on him. He'll jump it for 15. It won't go. Rebound mailman. He'll go to Stockton. Jazz on the run. Stock down the middle. Left side of the mailman. The layup. No good. Carl Malone fouled on the drive. Magic by Johnson. Magic Johnson. And two free throws coming for the mailman. Well, we saw Carl call twice for offensive fouls on a play. Play somewhat similar. Two plays uh, in Los Angeles. But there's no question about that one. Uh, he was uh, moving. He was moving. <laughs> and and uh, for Magic, uh, smartly, he was moving backwards. Carl lost it in the air, then regained possession on the shot, so he'll get two, and then Jazz can take the lead. The mailman, first free throw with the right hand, he is good. Carl Malone, 72.1% in playoff action. He's played against the, uh, the Lakers in five games. That is 31 out of 43, and overall, 74% in the playoffs, 71 out of 96. That's five straight points now for the Jazz. And Malone, another try. He can give Utah the lead right here. For the mailman with the right hand. Free throw. Yes. Four points for Malone. And the Jazz have an 8 7 lead. Magic right side front court. A hippity hop move. Hanson right with it. Over on the right side angle to Worthy. Worthy for North Carolina. Worthy holds it up. Ivoroni with him. Worthy, a couple of bounces. Holds it down low to Kareem. The bar backs across the middle. Faking. Turn left hook up. Won't go. Three down the mailman. To Stockton. Jazz on the run. Stock down the middle. Stock looking for help. Again, the Lakers get back defensively. So Stockton takes it right side wisely. Holds it up. Now low to Malone. They double it. Carl holds the ball. Now backs it out one bounce to Ivoroni. Marcus at the top of the lane. Takes a 20-footer. Frozen rope. Good. Marcus Ivoroni. 10-7 Utah. Yeah. And Phil Bailey is uh, ready to check in for Ivoroni. The Jazz have scored eight straight points. There's Johnson right side. Magic. Picked up by Hanson. Magic terminates. Up top of the lane to A.C. Green. Left side angle to Kareem. Now to Byron Scott. Jabbar sets the screen. Stockton with Scott. And a foul called on Stockton. Stocks first. Now to Jazz. First foul of the game. Laker ball. Ivoroni out. And Burrow Bailey will check in. Just trying to get through the screen. And that foul could have been a boy. Could have been passed. Yeah, I think so. Earl Bailey in, Ivoroni out. Ball comes in to Asia Green, left side of Byron Scott. They want to go to Magic. Posting up left side, Hanson with him. They go low to Magic. Back up top to Scott again to Magic. Magic on the angle left. Couple of bounces, backing in on Hanson. Wants to cross the middle, and he does. The hook shot for five. It's up around the end, no good. But the rebound to A.C. Green on the baseline left. He'll hand back in the left corner to Magic Johnson. 
Magic fakes down the base. He's there to help out the shot around the rim. It's good. Magic Johnson. Good move. 10 to 9, Utah. Stockton front court straight away. John will angle off to the left side. What a playoff this is for Jazz and the Lakers. He had some great games. This looks like another one. Right, Stock with the ball again. Off the mark, Eaton screen. Trying to go left to right. He's held a foul by Byron Scott. So Johnson and Scott, the two guards, each for the foul. Uh, we got a timeout taken. Six minutes and 37 seconds left in the first quarter at the South Palace, Utah 10, the Lakers 9. Rod Unley with Dave Blackwell at the South Palace. We're in the first quarter, 6.37 left. Uh, the Jazz have a 10-9 lead over the Lakers. And we remind you to be sure to watch Urban Cowboy, starring John Travolta and Deborah Winger, tomorrow night at 7, right here on Channel 13. You know, fresher milk is better milk, and there's no faster way to get it from the farm to your front door. The Winder Dairy Home Delivery and Winder Milk in your refrigerator will stay fresh longer. So the Jazz under Frank Layton. Trying to get even at three games apiece and a force of seventh game Saturday afternoon in L.A. Dallas has already advanced into the Western Conference uh, Finals, winning against uh, Denver. And poor old Doug Moe after Coach closing so yeah. quickly during the regular season, then losing Fat Lever and, and uh, final score 108 to 95. Dallas winning at home where it lost only once this year during Denver. Field goals, uh, the Lakers have hit uh, four out of nine, the Jazz four out of ten. They're stocked on the ball, and Worthy jumps out only with help from Scott. Low to Bailey, jump hook, block back to Reed. Beautiful play on the low post right side, and the Lakers with the ball. Magic down the right side of Byron Scott, leap and lead. Closing rope, jumper no good, up and over the backboard, out of bounds, Jazz basketball. You know, maybe that's one way of uh, stopping Byron Scott. I, I just... You know, he has one of the really picture book jump shots, doesn't he? He's beautiful on that shot. And yeah. this was the guy that they gave up favorite Norm Nixon to get the rights to Byron Scott, and he certainly is uh, proven to be a great player. There is Stockton to the baseline left. Down low to Malone. Good position. Turn in. Force it. No good. Foul on the play. Malone shoots two. Now they have a little patience there. They need to make those shots. It's kind of quicken them up there. Might be missing, but he got the foul for Green, and that's the third team foul of the Lakers. Well, Green bumped Malone even before he left the floor, and so Malone actually was unimpeded after uh, he had taken off, but he missed it. Pat Riley realizes he's been in a series, and I'll tell you one thing, he's been saying an awful nice thing about the Jazz. He says nobody has ever played the Lakers quite as well as the Jazz have been doing at the form. All right, here's Carl Malone with Utah leading 10-9. The mailman two for two. He has four points here in the quarter. Uh, his first free throw here is good. Well, he has scored five. Malone against the Lakers, 28.6. In the playoffs, 29.9. Frank Layden yelling out at John Stockton. To slow it down, imagine, on the next play. All right, here's Malone for one more. All right, he got it. Six points for Kyle Malone. Or maybe he was yelling to tell Magic to get his hands out. He was kind of flipping around there while Kyle was shooting. I think he was saying patience. Here's the ball knocked away by Hanson on Magic can't control it. Jazz basketball. All right, Stockton with the ball. 12-9 Utah. Six minutes left to the end of the first quarter. Stockton down the left side. Jazz about score the Lakers 10-2 after falling behind 7-2. Stock for the layup. Blocked by E.C. Green. Driving in from the left side. And Green comes down with the ball. Takes a behind the back dribble. Gets into the front court and hands to Magic Johnson. Green has really been a tough on Utah, in particular Monod. He has made Kyle work and work hard to get shots. Here's Magic up top, right side angle to Byron Scott. Go to the base, gets to turn the corner, gets back. Trying to go down the middle, knocked down, but it goes out front to Magic. Magic's got it, four seconds for a shot. The A.C. Green throw up a 20-footer, no good. He tips it over, and Stock's there to pick it up. And here come the jam. Stock down the middle, cross pit court. Stockton up top, here to right. Stockton holds it up, wants to go to Bailey. They front him. Worthy right on Big T. Out front to Bob Hanson, left side angle to Carl Malone. The mailman, low to Big Mark, hook for the base. Good, Mark Eaton. Beautiful left hook, 14 to nine, Jazz with the lead. Jazz have scored 12 of the last 14 points. There's Magic, out front to Kareem. Left side angle to Byron Scott. Scott, fake left to right, Stockton with him. Scott back to the baseline left, low to Kareem on the angle left. Kareem again in the left corner to Scott, back to Kareem, knocked down by Eaton. Stockton's got it, ahead to Hanson. Bobby's there, hand up. The Jazz are rolling. Well, the Lakers need a timeout. The well, Lakers want a timeout. Uh, Magic gets front court. And finally, they take it. Timeout, Lakers. 
Four minutes and 32 seconds left in the opening quarter. John Stockton to Bobby Hanson a moment ago. And it's Utah 16, the Lakers 9. Todd Unley with Dave Blackwell. We're back at the South Palace. The Jazz leading the world champion Lakers 16 to 9 here in the first quarter. 4.32 left. And Michael Thompson checks in and Kareem comes out. And Thompson has played superbly against Utah. All right, left side, Magic with the ball. Hanson with it. They throw it out. Magic go yo Now left to right off the Thompson screen. Outside jumper won't go. Rebound, Magic flags it down in the left corner. He's all alone. Little 16 footers up. No good. Rebound, Hanson to Stockton. Jazz run. The Hanson to Stockton. Lay it up. Score. Stockton. 18 to 9. Utah. AC Green right side. Jump one up short. Rebound easy to Stockton. The Jazz run again. The Hanson. Drive. Hang. Score. The Jazz are rolling. 20 to 9. 18 to 2 on this run. The Jazz have outscored the Lakers 18 to 2. Magic right side. Magic guarded by Hanson. Down low right to go to Worthy. Worthy puts it up. Short. Rebound east to Stockton. Jazz run again. Down the left side of the mailman. Drive. Hand. He's fouled. Malone shoots two. Jazz wanted uh, to have goaltending on there, but Hugh Evans shook his head no. And a foul to Magic Johnson. His second foul. And the Lakers 14 foul. 20 to 9, Utah, and the mailman shoots two. Incredible start by the Jazz. Well, particularly when you realize they fell behind 7 to 2 to open the game. Boy, what a comeback. They are running at their best. All right, here is the mailman. He'll shoot two. He's made four of four already. Yeah, this one good. But you know what? Also, now the Lakers, I think they're four out of 14, something like that. The Lakers. And uh, it's not as if the ball is rolling around and falling out. I mean, they're really throwing up some bricks, and uh, Jazz defense has something to do with that. One more for Carl Malone. 21 to 9. The Jazz with a lead. The mailman 5 of 5. And this one good. Eight for the mailman. 22 to 9, Utah. The Jazz have outscored the Lakers 20 to 2 in this run. Magic left side. A pop to screen and now found a Hanson on the dribble. Bobby's first to Jazz second team fouls. Well, the Jazz is in good position ever less than three and a half minutes to go in the first quarter with only two team fouls. Good foul. Actually, Magic would have been open for a shot there. So the Lakers take it out. They're working the right corner to Magic Johnson. Answer with it. Magic right to left to the free throw line. On the weaves of Michael Cooper, who's checked in out of New Mexico. Now right side of Magic. It was Cooper's only basket that gave the Lakers a win on game five. Here's Coop, left side, jumping for 20. I won't go. Rebound, fought for it. Michael Thompson's got it. Put it up over Eaton. No good down below. The mailman. The Stockton. Stop front court straight away. Stockton veers off left side. Cooper right with it. Stop fade from back to the middle. Right baseline, a big T. Jump a 16-footer. It's good. Thurl Bailey. The Jazz lead 24 to 9. And it's 22 to 2 on this run. Here's Magic underneath. And we got a foul. Uh, they went by. Oh, Hanson gets the foul, his second. Third team foul, 24 to 9, Utah. Worthy to Green. AC hands back to Michael Cooper. Mark Copo gets set to check in for Hanson. They go left side of Worthy. In a paint, he tries.